guys, Stitching May here to do my weekly update video. I'm actually here to you again within a week. Um, I'm gonna try my best to do every Friday video uploads. We'll see how that goes, but that's my plan. Um, I think even if I don't have a lot of progress, I'll still do an update video and y'all just have a really short video. If y'all, let me know what you think. Would you rather me wait two weeks if I don't have a lot of progress or would you rather see me anyway and see what kind of progress I have even if it's minuscule? Just let me know in the comments. We'll go from there. But I'm going to try my best to do a video upload every week. And now that I'm in the School of Magical Stitches and Literature, the Harry Potter Sal group, I think I am going to have enough progress each week because it kind of keeps me, keeps my nose to the grindstone. Last week my video was a little unorganized. I don't know why, but I felt like I was kind of here and there. And then my plans were kind of here and there still. So... I didn't know where I was and I tried to tell you guys where I was and that's not good. I'm a little more organized this week, I think. I don't I don't ever like sit down and like script out my video or plan out my video or have notes because then I would feel too scripted and not my normal all over the place self. Um, but I do kind of have a plan this time. Very tentative plan. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, like I said, I am still part of the magical stitches and literature group. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. I'm also part of the semi-sane stitchers group and I'm also in virtual stitchers. I'm everywhere. Um, I did actually get to get on virtual, virtual stitchers and last night I didn't stitch. I had a bit of a headache but I did get to get in and talk to some people. It's been a while. Last, this January was just a crazy month for me. The beginning of February has been crazy but it's gonna get better. I promise it's got to get better. Um, I guess it doesn't got to but you know I'm telling myself that. Anyway, um, so I worked on one, two, three, four, five different projects this week. Um, one was a new start. And then some of you asked about the counter app that I'm using. Guys, I will tell you what I'm using. It's, it is literally just a random free one that I found on the Google Play. I am an Android user. Um, it literally just comes up on my app thing as counter. Um, let me look and see if I can find the official name. I know there's a place that I can do this. Google Play Store. But um, what I do is it allows you to have more than one counter. It is technically a knitting counter. Like where you can count your stitches for knitting or crochet. And you just click um, the button for each stitch. And... Um, See, counter used moments ago um it's in the google play store I, I googled stitch counter and it's just called counter by roman t-s-u-k-a-n-o-v i'll hold it up i don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but that's it it um i don't know if you'll be able to see this we'll try and see um so each if this doesn't work I will do a video of just the phone but um so you can add a counter and then you have each counter and then what I do is as I'm stitching like after I say I stitch a few stitches when I go to highlight I just touch the counter for how many of our stitches I stitch um the way I'm using it for magical stitches is like for each project for the homework I name it and I count the stitches there um for semi-sane, where I'm doing the stitch to the solar system, I have each planet named. And then I'll add how many of our stitches to that planet when I'm finished by the daily counter. And the same thing for the ultimate cross-stitch challenge in the um, Magical Stitches group, where I have, so I have to do a thousand stitches on different projects for different things. There are 22 different subheadings that you can do a stitch a project on. I have my master one and then I have my current one. So like if I'm working on, so I'm, my goal is a thousand stitches and then if I'm working on it tonight and say I did 50 stitches, I would keep up with the 50 stitches and then add those 50 stitches to the master one and then it kind of is my rolling t running total. That's probably as clear as mud. But it's really simple to use hopefully i was close enough for you to see that when i go back and look at the video if not i will delete that part out and then insert you know insert the camera down of my phone and make it clearer 
See, like I said, I thought it was going to be more, more organized. Um, as far as my journal goes, I'm still keeping up with my master journal, which is where I put um, every whip that I work on for the month the starts that I've had and that and try to keep up with what I work on day to day but then I've kept a separate journal this was a gift from Connie G um, a separate journal for the magical stitches group I even have it tabbed so like I have the reading that I'm supposed to do which I'm listening to the audiobooks and I'm trying to catch up and listen to one and two this month I think I should get bonus points for that and then I have like the ultimate cross stitch challenge and then if I'm doing a what project I'm working on and whether or not I complete it. And then I have each month, I have the extra credit for that month. And then I have the weekly assignment. And then like this week we had a, I'm not going to say it right, basilic, bas basilic attack. So we have to work on that. So I'm keeping up with what I work on and how many stitches there on the back because that's still the same week. And then that's it. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Sammy and, you know, Jesse Marie have all their um, spreadsheets that automatic, automatically calculate and all that stuff. Not me. That's too, too complicated for me. I can take care of medical stuff. I can't do a spreadsheet. I said that last night to Sammy. I was like, I can, you know, do cardiac drips, but I can't do, can't do spreadsheets. Oh, my coffee mug. Sorry. This is a, this was a gift from a coworker. It's got this redhead. I started collecting different coffee mugs instead of the normal ones. And it says right here, I am unique. I don't know if you can see that. And on the back it has a quote. It says, there speaks the passion and the rebellion that go with red hair. Your spirit, your courage, the fact that you have a mind of your own. My favorite coffee mug. Currently my favorite coffee mug. So, anyway, let me jump in to why you're here, which is the stitching. So, last week, year two, week two, I had shown you that I had worked on my Dragonfly Fairy for the first one, which was the first ingredient of the Polyjuice Potion, which was Lacewing. I then also worked on Powdered bis Biscorn Horn, which I worked on Pugs Not Drugs from um, Tiny Modernist on Etsy, and I used that one because it was hard to get because I had to get it online. The others that I worked on were all Dragonfly Fairy. I used that for Knot Grass because it's got grass on it. I did not complete number two, which was Leeches, leeches something that sucks. And I did not complete number five, which was Flux Weed on Dark Fabric. Um, six was Shredded Boom Sling Skin. And I did Skin, which is Dragonfly Fairy. And then a bit of an, a bit of someone, whatever you want to turn into, which blended and labeled me for dragonfly fairy so I worked on that one so I did one two three four of the seven pro you know assignments or ingredients on dragonfly fairy I had already I think I had already worked on it some on the last video for at least one of those and I had shown you where I was so I will show you the progress where I was last time before I completed the other three ingredients for this piece I could have technically used this one because it kind of sucks that I've gotten this much progress on it and it's not one of my year whips pieces <laughs> I think it's caught up in a knot guys there it go that worked so again this is what it will look like when it's finished this is Dragonfly Fairy by Joan Elliott I'm stitching it in the called for colors um, my fabric is a piece of Silk Weaver's Morning Mist, Mountain Mist, I'm not sure, something mist. And it's 32 count. I have another half of this fabric put away for another project. And I showed you where I was. Make sure I have her oriented the right way. And this is where I am now. Um, before I had only worked on the little frills of the skirt down here. This and all four of these projects, which some of them were already shown to you, were on the bodice and then I started the wing even. So I've gotten a pretty good bit of progress done and that was all just last week. This is before I went to work on Saturday. 
So I am really excited about my progress. And there she is. This is becoming one of my favorite pieces to work on. It may end up getting traded out for, because in July, thanks to Melanie with the Year of Whips or the Soulful Stitchers Year of Whips Challenge, we can change at the end, no, the middle of the year, as long as we keep our original number of, of projects. So, um, I think I then worked some on my, one of the year long challenges. Um, which is the one I'm working on right now is the, where is it? One of the seven registered animangi of the 20th century, which I'm using pugs, not drugs. Hang on, I got lost up in this bag. Because my co-workers wanted me to teach him how to stitch. And I had a little kit for him in there. But then it was a horrible night. So we didn't get to take our break together. But there that is. That's what it will look like when it's finished. Again, this is on Etsy from the Tiny Modernist. I put a link in the last video. I'll try to put a link in this one too. I put it to her shop. I think this time I'll try to do it to this actual pattern. Just in case anyone wants this pattern. And this is where I was before. Not a ton of progress on this one this time. Got a needle attached. Um, here is where I currently am. Make sure you can see it. I filled in some of his back, some of his fur, and one of his legs. I'm going through because some of my stitches are a little off. And um, I'm doing the shading first, and then I'll go back and just fill in the light color. That way it'll be mindless stitching. The only thing then that's going to be a little hard to keep up with how many stitches because I'm afraid I'll forget to count them. I'll have to remind myself to count them on my counter. Okay. And then I worked Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday we had new homework. And this week's homework was... Um, I don't remember the theme of it, but we had to do a project that you modified 100 stitches, no 200 stitches, 200 stitches on a project that has a cat on it and 200 stitches that that has a ghost. Um, you had to do two of those three and if you did three of the three you got extra points. Um, and you could do a forfeit option which was 400 stitches on a project that doesn't apply. I did originally the 200 stitches on a project that I modified and I chose my Christmas Eve piece which is also a Year of Whips piece. It was my Sal a couple years ago with Connie and uh, Mandy and it's the Prairie Schooler Christmas Eve and this is modified because on the bottom in the snow you can't I can't see it here so I doubt you can see it there but if you look at it online the words Noel, Merry Christmas, Peace, Love, and Joy were in lighter colors. A um, a cream color, a light, a pale gray color, and a pale blue color. And I didn't like that because I couldn't see them. So I changed them to the red, gold, and green that are already in the pattern. So that was my modification. This is where I was before on this project. Getting closer and closer to that finish, which is good because this is a year of whips, whips piece. Your weeps piece. Will I ever get through a video without mispronouncing something? No, because I'm Southern. So, here that is. I, um, I'd finished out... How long did I finish it? Oh, no, no, no. I'd already finished all that. I worked on these reins, and then I realized that they're going to be a little bit off. Because my stuff's always a little bit off worked on the reins and then I worked on the reindeer some so that is where I currently am with that piece hopefully all I have to do are fill in these doors and some of the snow and then the two reindeer and I'll be done and of course Santa's eyes and the elf's eyes I don't know why I always wait for the last to do the eyes it's kind of creepy I should go ahead and put the eyes in and this is on LJ fabrics um I don't remember the name of the the fabric but it is on my hand dyed by LJ's fabric love his fabric it's a 32 count Joe Blunt I think 
I never remember. There's an even weave that I absolutely love and even weave that I don't get along with. Um, one of them, the, 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 when I pull my tension, it distorts the fabric. And the other one is fine. And I don't remember which one's which. So then, my next issue was coming up and was going to do, was going to need a four fit piece and do 400 stitches on that. And I just could not, it was so daunting to me that it was kind of stressing me out. So I have the Just Cross Stitch Halloween, um, what year is it? 2011 through 2014. It, it's up on my shelf. Um, and so I popped that in my CD player or my computer and started flipping through to see if I could find anything that had a cat or a ghost on it that I would be interested in. And I fell in love with, oh, I don't have the picture because it's, I'll have to insert a picture here of the finished, of what it will look like finished. It is, um, who is it? I'll insert that as well. It's got a cat and a ghost. And that meant that I got no penalties and I could finish both, both projects, you know, or both assignments, the project that has a cat in it and a project that has a ghost in it. And I still did 400 stitches, but it was on two things and I got full credit rather than having to do 400 and 400 to get all three assignments. And this is where I am on it. I'm not quite finished. I'm still going to work on this tonight because we are under a bacillic attack and we have to do 1,500 stitches for the whole, the whole, our whole entire house, which I'm slithering. I didn't mention that. I was finally sorted and I'm slithering with Sammy J and several other i don't know who all's in slither i haven't been able to look and see but there are several several of us slytherins this is on just some 32 count i don't even know it's a scrap piece of fabric that i had that was orange i thought was appropriate this i picked out the colors myself um i'll go over them with you but there it is that is where i currently am kind of small use an actual hoop a small hoop this one is fun to stitch on it's so easy I've been stitching on that while I watch Shameless with my husband. We've been, been, been watching Shameless. Let me tell you, if you think your family is dysfunctional, watch Shameless. It'll make you feel better about yourself. Um, I use, The green I used is... Let's see. Avocado by Color and Cotton. Daffodil. It would help if I showed the color, wouldn't it? Avocado by Color and Cotton. Daffodil by Color and Cotton. Um, I think this is Witch's Socks. I thought that was appropriate. Yes, Witch's Socks by Color and Cotton. Very appropriate name for the Harry Potter. And then I'm using, of course, DMC Black and White. Those are very eventful. And then the orange is, which you, it's just in the word boo, so you can't really see it, um, is clockwork by weeks that works so that was my new start this time and that is all of my magical stitching except that on thursday miss connie came over and we got to stitch and i worked some on my Anne of green gables piece which i'm using also for the um Ultimate Cross Stitch Challenge in the a Magical Stitches group. And it's also one of my Year of Whip pieces. And it is, the first one is there are seven books in the Year of, or in the Harry Potter series. Um, all of the Ultimate Stitching Challenges have to do with the number seven. Because that's a theme throughout the Harry Potter books. They're like seven books, the years of school, there are seven Horcruxes, there are seven Weasley children, seven Potters, seven players in Quidditch, 700 fouls in Quidditch, seven floors at Hogwarts, task and the philosopher's stone so they all have something to do with seven so this one was the seven books and i chose to use my um so the end of green gables by soda stitch this is what it will look like this is where i currently am and guys wednesday <laughs> We had a death in the family this week. Um, a very distant cousin that my mom was very close to, but my aunt came in from um, out of town. So Tuesday and Wednesday were kind of hectic. So I didn't stitch. And then Thursday, I was kind of in a huh. So I didn't stitch a whole bunch. I think I got a whole 60 stitches done, if even that, on Wednesday, on, on Thursday. And then I didn't stitch it all last night. And I haven't stitched today. I'm going to sit down and stitch tonight. But here's where I currently am. 
we're all good. I mean, we're, it is what it is. But I finished out Matthew except for back stitching, and I'm so glad because as much as I love the character Matthew, <laughs> stitching him on this project has been the bane of my existence for this project. Like, it's almost made me not like this project because I mess up at the bottom and then having to correct all the way through. It's been weird. He's just driven me a lot of color changes. He's driven me batty. But um but he is my one of my favorite characters in the book and in the T V series or the Netflix series, so but there that is. But um but the cool thing is, is that um, with all of that that happened this week, um, my mom's sister and I have gotten, seem to be getting closer. I'm excited about it. Um, I mean, we were never not close. We just, we didn't see each other, talk to each other online. We've been talking to each other daily ever since. And I'm excited to continue that and at least get a text message in here and there. Um, what, buddy? Hungry. You're hungry? Okay. Can I get you a snack in just a minute? Yeah. Okay. There's a banana. You want a banana? Huh? Can I come say hi? Huh? Can I come say hi? Can you get over the fence to come say hi? Hmm. Are your legs long enough? I don't think your legs are long enough. Oh. No. Can I come? If you can get over the gate, you sure can. I don't have any haul this week. My son is trying to climb a gate to get in here to say hey to you guys. He's been playing a video game with my sister. I think he's going to fall. <sighs> You can't? Can you pick up the, open up the gate, pull it up, press that button, press that button and lift. There you go. Now pull it towards you. Pull the whole gate towards you. There you go. <laughs> I almost wish I had this on, on camera for you guys to see at what length he is coming to come say hi to you guys. They are playing Fortnite. There's some kind of, well not that close. There's some kind of event going on. What is it called? The Twosomes event? I don't know. It's like you get extra points when you kill people in the game. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, say hey. Hey. Now go play. You're sweaty. I know. I've been jumping around. Oh, okay. But anyway, that is it. I don't have any haul this video. <laughs> no haul at all. And, um, which is a first for me. I think, did I have haul? What? No, I had my color and cotton. But that's it for now. I'm going to end the video, get it edited, upload it, see if I need to show you the camera down of the app instead, and um, get the stitching for my magical okay, stitches oh, and literature. I'll get it. Thank you. Take care, guys. Happy stitching.